Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a smart visual, which is a new addition, what I've seen as compared to the previous version into the Power BI. And this is something really useful because I, in business, you know, whenever I design or my team design the, the dashboards, we have this analytical commentary as part of the section, which people want to know our insights from the data. And I'm very, very pleased to see as compared to the other tools, Power BI have actually gone ahead and provided this as a standard component that you can put it as part of the uh, dashboard. It's like you don't have to do a lot of coding and uh, basically create multiple fields and join that together, put a text together around it and just make sure that this component works. This is something by default working automatically here in the Power BI and getting the more, 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 more and more insights from the data. Also, it allows you to add more information, right? So something very interesting, what I feel that they have added it over here and I'm, I'm sure and I'm, I would insist that you, you use it in your, uh, in your dashboard and judiciously because it opens a whole wide range of explaining your visualization, right? So with that, let me show you how you can do that. But before that, very quickly, if you have landed very first time on my channel, then you can access this sheet, which I'm showing you here. It is a live sheet, as you can see, a live Google spreadsheet where I have all of my previous videos and all of my future videos will also be here. So all of them, you can access it by searching it or by going through one by one, or you can create your own custom curriculum and you have the link over here in channel in, in the column B by which you can jump to that video. All right, with that information, let me come here on this visualization. So this is one of the visualization what we created. What I can do is just delete that because this is very skewed distribution I created. So I'll create a clustered column chart. And what do I have is the sales. And what do I have is the subcategory. Very, very simple to and easy to understand. So always start with these this very simple one. That's something, you know, can be taken further. All right. So simple chart, right? And you have this filter and all. So we can filter that. Now there are two different ways by which you can do the uh, add the smart visual. Once is very straightforward. You come here, you have the smart narrative visual right you can click on that and here you got your commentary ready you don't have to do anything right so this is if you can read this is a 3000 um no it is like three thirty thousand dollars phones and the highest sales was 10 percent higher than the fasteners which had the lowest sales of this so they are doing the comparison between the highest and lowest phone as a subcategory which is where here right phone is accounted for 14.37 percent of sales something about which account is category or which product is category you know contributing to source or something there that's a standard part of it across all 17 subcategories so that's a subcategory what we have so 17 subcategory across those cat cat categories sales ranged from 3024 to 330000 dollars so something very very standard as a uh, you know analytical commentary that they have given right but you always have an option where you can add more to it right as i just clicked below to this one i can say total something which is not part of this total sales is and here we can add a value as you can see here it has added something uh, some dark around uh, you know uh, sorry this light blue shaded area that means here that it will going to put the value total sales right and it is showing you this is nothing but this q and a uh, component which is based on the nlp and you just write what do you want to ask and total sales is what i want to ask and 22 97 200 that means 22 2.2 million this is because it is in the comma is by indian uh this thing 
uh, numeric system that's why i am having a little difficulty in reading it in american but this is like 2.2 million right or in india we will say it like 22 lakh 97000 all right so you save this and here is your value that this is your total sales is but the interesting part is once i click over here on the central as a region you will see that all of the values including total total sales is reduced or it's, it's basically showing you only for the central also for east it is showing the east relevant information the west relevant the south or whatever you are selecting right so something i find it really interesting just think about it that uh, the total sales is this total profit is this and all of that so that way whatever be the common question which is not part of this visualization is something what you can uh, show it like for example you want to show some category uh, which is let's say fastener or art or something like that you can ask that question very easily and add this so that's one way by which you can do that uh, and if you are adding the visualization uh, from here the only thing you need to take care is that if you have more than one chart on the report then it will be created the the smart narrative will be created for all the charts right so that's one difference if you are creating from here but if you are coming here and uh sorry if you right clicking on here and click on summarize you will going to get the same thing right similar type of thing uh, smart narrative but is it is only specific to this chart because i have right clicked over there and clicked on the summarize right but it will work as you would expect what i have shown you when i clicked it over there so that's something i wanted to show you the how you can get the automated what i used to call is um, analytical commentary or here the component name is the smart narrative so that's always based on statistical measure the five number summary what we call it is like what is the range of the data that means what is the minimum and maximum that's what it has been shown here what con category is contributing high what cat category is contributing low what is the average sales what is the standard deviation what is generally you know all of this correlation and things like those so that's something you can do it now very easily with the help of the smart narrative so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic